Today in the news, Intel might refresh their latest generation of CPUs in 2023. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. So, Intel. The blue team is notorious for the short lifetime of their CPU platforms. The CPUs are usually only compatible for two generations of motherboards, and after that, you need to upgrade. It sucks even more if you're buying the second generation of CPUs on the platform because, well, you have no more upgrade paths. With AMD, for example, they've kept releasing CPUs for the AM4 platform for the last six years. Seriously, AM4 came out before Ryzen was even a thing. Anyways, why am I talking about this? Well, while we might not get a full new generation on Intel's LGA 1700, a couple of things point to a refresh of the Raptor Lake architecture sometimes next year. First, the obvious one, the rumors. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, ECSM, a quite reputable leaker, I mean, this guy or whoever they are, have access to Raptor Lake CPUs way before the release. But anyways, on November 13th, ECSM posted on Bilibili saying that 2023 will be a battle of Raptor Lake versus Zen 4. In the first half of the year, we'll see the 13900KS and the Ryzen 7000 X3D lineup. The 13900KS is a thing that has been known for a while now. Intel just hasn't publicly released it, but it's not the refresh that I'm talking about. Lower in his post, he then says that in mid to late Q3, that's August and September, Toothpaste will have RPL refresh. Okay, I don't know where these people are getting these translations from, maybe from the uh, automatic Google Translate, but properly translated, it says in the middle and late Q3 of 2023, there will be a Raptor Lake refresh. The frequency will be higher by about 100 to 200 megahertz, and the number of cores will remain the same. As for Arrow Lake and Zen 5, that's a matter of 2024 in the second half of that year. So that's what the rumors say. What else do we have? Have. Well, the news. Asus's in-house overclocker and motherboard guru, Shamino, or Shamino, I don't know, <laughs> revealed that Intel scrapped a feature that Intel has been pimping for Raptor Lake, DLVR. In case you forgot, the DLVR, or Digital Linear Voltage Regulator, would help Intel processors save some 20% in power management. And Intel basically scrapped it. How do we know they scrapped it? Well, the feature is still available on some Z790 motherboards, but it does absolutely nothing. And Shimino over at Asus said that Raptor Lake used to run on DLVR, but the processors refused to bypass it mid-development. So Intel disabled DLVR here. On the other hand, Asus kept the feature there on the possibility of future processors being able to use it. So yeah, it looks like Raptor Lake still has a lot of room for improvements. Intel just needs to, you know, open it up. So far, there's only three Raptor Lake CPUs that have been officially announced. Six, if you count the KF variants. You have the 13600K, 13700K, and 13900K. On top of that, anything sub 13600K is just a refreshed Alder Lake Lake CPU, that's last generation. So Raptor Lake really is not stretching its legs at all. So if they do a refresh, well, what can we expect? ECSM said about 100 to 200 megahertz. That's not bad, especially with uh, refinements that could see all core frequencies go even higher. And uh, it might not seem like much, 100 to 200 megahertz, but I mean, AMD did that two years ago, back with the 3000 series of CPUs. Remember the 3000 XT series? The six core only got a 100 megahertz boost, the eight core had 200 megahertz boost, and the 12 core had a 100 megahertz boost. And that's on the up to clock speed. Plus, if DLVR gives Raptor Lake that 20 plus percent efficiency boost, Intel will have basically flipped the script completely on AMD. They could easily claim the throne in efficiency, they could claim that they run cooler, and claim to have the fastest CPUs on the market. How? Well, remember, 
even if AMD comes out with their 7000 series of X3D models next year, all rumors point to the 3D models being limited to six and eight core models. We're not gonna see a 16 core 7950X3D. So a 13900K refresh with slightly higher clock speeds would win in heavy workloads and still be a beast in gaming. Anyways, the saddest part here, in my opinion, is that uh, besides the Ryzen X3D lineup, 2023 looks like it's going to be pretty calm when it comes to CPU releases. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, and I'll see you on the next one.